Hey guys, Curtis Alexander. In this video, I want to answer a viewer question, which is can antibiotics, can taking antibiotics affect period cycles, either shorten them, delay them, those sorts of things. And I've gotten this question before, and usually the medical field's canned answer is no, it, it, there's no evidence that that happens. But I've had too many women who've stated just that, that there have been changes to their periods uh, when taking antibiotics. So what might be going on? So I'm going to walk you through what we know from studies can happen in the body. And uh, I think that'll make a little more sense why you might be seeing some of those changes. So first of all, as you're probably aware, when you take an antibiotic by mouth, it's designed to kill bacteria. But because it's going into your intestinal tract, um, you can kill good bacteria and you can kill bad bacteria. That's pretty well established. Now, one of the other things that happens, speaking of bad bacteria, is a lot of people have fairly high amounts of what are called endotoxins. And these are these little substances in your body, and the end result is they can really mess with the function of your mitochondria, which are sort of the engines of all your cells. They, they help convert food to energy. So you have these endotoxins, you get too many of them, they become harmful. Well, with antibiotics, they can go in and actually kill or decrease the number of these endotoxins that you have in your GI tract. And we believe this is related down the line to your liver then being able to more readily inactivate estrogen and also help you maintain blood sugar more. So that's a net positive. But the downstream effects can affect your period because when you kill off the endotoxin and when your liver is able to inactivate the estrogen and you're maintaining better blood sugars, what happens a lot of times is we could see hormonal changes. And some of those is you can see estrogen go down, you can see cortisol go down, um, you can see progesterone go up, you can see serotonin go down, you can see histamine go down. Now, I, will, I always like to point out, anytime we're talking about hormones, it's easy to look at that and go take it out of context and think that, okay, low estrogen is bad or low estrogen is good. Everything is relative. There's ratios here that we need to keep in mind. So I'm not saying this is necessarily bad. It's just what is happening. And as you know, when you're affecting your hormonal levels, you're going to affect your cycle and you're going to affect things like sex drive and you're going to affect your period and you're going to affect a lot of other hormonally driven processes in your body. So that's kind of the why antibiotics really can affect your period. Is it always going to happen? Of course not. Uh, but I've seen too many women state that, you know, there have been changes to their period. I'd never liked the can to answer that antibiotics couldn't do it. My experience is that they can, and this is what I believe is happening in your body if that happens. So let me know in the comments. Uh, if, if you're female who took antibiotics, did it affect your period? I'd, I'd like to know. Uh, it's helpful for me. It's helpful for anybody watching the video. Uh, speaking of which, guys, I hope the video was helpful, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.